was really excited because how Edward last year uh, proposed how we could implement Life Team here. So um, I really got excited because I, I, I really wanted to experience myself how Life Team would be and how we could implement it here on Saipan. There was a lot of great ideas that he wanted to implement here with the diocese and I was really up for it. And once that he told me uh, he was gonna send me to Life Team, the Life Team convention and get the experience uh, at Life Team, I was really excited. And uh, hopefully the experience that I had would help the diocese. All the, all the people that were there were really young adults and they were in the youth ministry for maybe like five to ten years already so they're trying to get more experience with the life team because they have different brackets so for myself I was in the beginners uh, bracket so they had uh, I let's just say classes for us in like the early morning which was at 7 30 to 8 30 and it was for us to get mentally prepared of how to start life team here um, so there's either a beginners track uh, experts track and the veterans track. So they had an amazing staff with uh, great inspirational speakers. Um, they had an awesome band that really knew how to connect. Like everyone, I mean, all the speakers, the band, the MCs knew how to connect with uh, the audience. So that was a big part of why they had a successful life team convention. They were saying that change is important for us and how for myself we have to adapt to today's generation with the kids we can't just do it the the old ways how we normally do it here so basically we gotta adapt with today's generation and change how we would want to connect with the kids and that's how they they were really em emphasizing in their talks and the talks were 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 given to us that could help us implement more of Life Team here in the CNMI or basically Saipan. So uh, my goal for, for myself to fly to Arizona and go through this convention is for to benefit us. This is for me to go through this and get notes and get all of the talks and try to understand uh, or get like um, information that I could actually implement here. So in the convention, we start. Uh, of course, there's a MC, so he's gonna he's gonna give us a talk, like a small briefing, and then we do mass at 9 a.m. So there's always a mass every day. Um, so we have a mass mass from 9 o'clock to 10:30. So their mass is actually like one hour and 30 minutes compared to us, which is like an hour or less. They have like a live band that actually that can actually play. They have a DJ. They had uh, readers that were really. Uh, that were really spot on and then the homily from the from the priest uh, he really knew how to establish his points and his attention getters were really good for the first time I was actually really looking forward to the mass like every morning because I felt like I really had a strong connection there like I, I really felt closer to God words can't really describe how I really felt during the mass like I for the first time, I was actually looking forward to a 9 a.m. Mass, which I'm not used to. So one thing is to have more youth nights with each parish, which could actually help us uh, connect more with the youth. The Life Teen Night. So I know we're trying to do, uh, I think, a test run for Life Teen here. So it would build excitement. Um, it would get more youth involved. It would actually encourage young adults and young teenagers to actually come to church and try to get, get involved and learn more about God. Um, for my second one, what would help for our, with our parish would be a youth, youth choir. We got to bring that back. I'm thinking about uh, having a youth, youth choir with, I think, uh, a youth student that could actually play the piano and not maybe not maybe not just a piano but maybe a guitarist or a drum so that's the first project i have we already talked about this uh i already told ed about my first project which is gonna be the youth choir to get implemented here in mount Carmel. 
and hopefully it gets implemented by the end of the year. All I said was my faith really grew after the, the, the Life Team Convention, which was really, really life-changing because it, I didn't really, I mean, let's not, let's just say I kind of, I was kind of giving up already on trying to inspire or to motivate young generation, the young generation, but with the techniques and techniques that were given to me, I think this could actually work, could work. <laughs> but I think uh, since they have that veterans and experts kind of track, I think if they send myself and some other people to go through this, we could actually learn more and try to get the kids more involved. So it would help everyone. I mean, all the parishes to have youth because youth is the next generation. Uh, all the kids are the next generation for us to build up our churches. We, without the youth, who's going to take our, our spots? So. I would thank uh, Bishop, first of all, for choosing, choosing me and Edward and then the Mount Carmel staff as well for making this actually happen. And uh, for actually thinking that this would be a great idea for us to move into a next step here in the diocese.